Hi, so I hear that you've come for a face mapping session today. Mm -hmm. So what the face mapping session involves is me just outlining the edges of your face and putting spots in different places. Now, for the face mapping, one of the reasons why we do this is especially when um, we're working with um, in the animation department, we are looking at the different spots on your face to help them line up with the animated figures that we do. Yes, yes, of course. Um, I'm also a beautician, um, so I know a lot about the face and about the structure and how everything moves. So that's basically why you've come to see a beautician today for your um, face mapping session. Mm -hmm. Yep, so I'm going to have a look at all the different areas of your face and I'm going to basically just put a little spot um, on the different areas of your face so that when they do the filming later, the animatronics, um, the animators have something to line up their work with so that we can definitely fit um, the animation to your face perfectly. Does that sound okay? <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my pen and I'm going to just start looking at um, the shape of your face and just see if I can get everything lined up symmetrically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, so, on my, um, I've got basically a stick which has some measurements, tiny, tiny micro measurements on it. So, I'm going to line this up um, along at your face and then I can basically work out where the lines of symmetry are so that we can um, line everything up exactly where it needs to be dot wise. So basically when the animators are fixing the uh, image over your face they have dots and specific spots. So for example like the cheekbones when you smile or the cheek maybe not the cheekbones but the cheeks um, they raise up and they raise down. So you say you'd have a spot here I need to do that spot in exactly uh, that the same place as the animators would have on the sort of skin maps that they create and then it will line up precisely and then every time that you move your face and the dots move it will correlate with the dots on the animation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lovely, okay. So I'm just going to just have a little measure. I'm going to start by going right from your forehead to your nose. So on that distance there. I'm just going to spot and a spot there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now I need to just get from the centre of your eyes from one eye to the other, just so I've got the distance there for one on eye to the other. Just line that up. Okay. Just make a mark and then we know what the diameter is between your eyes and then I can work that out and then the central point and then we can like just measure that down your nose and then I can measure from there to there to there okay I'm just going to draw some spots exactly where they measure up so on there lines on your lips. I know this might be quite uncomfortable but it's especially important on your lips because when the um, character is talking, um, when you are talking, we want the character's lips to move really precisely so it might take a little bit but I have to do quite a lot of spots on the lips um, because they move in such an intricate way. Yeah, no worries. So specific points on the lips that I need to cover to make sure they line up with the characters so they are sort of like here, here, in the corners, 
the bottom point there and here and then halfway across and every lip. They might not use every dot that's on your face but they'll correlate the ones that are important with the character's lips if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now could you open your mouth for me so that I can see the inside of your lip because sometimes the character's lip might, yeah, yeah, you, you understand. Might open and then also this, can you do this? This, yeah, just go under there just so that when they open their mouth. Now we're not going to, they're not going to use your teeth for reference tools, so we don't need to worry about doing swords on the teeth. Yeah, we do have special pens. Mm, that can like stain little spots on the teeth. Yeah, um, but that's only if we're doing sort of like a animation of a specific person. So then it would like really line up with every detail. Mm, okay, um, but because the um, character that we're using is a little bit more sort of rounded and general, yeah, of course. Okay, so what we need to do is get to basically where your jawline is. Now this might be sort of altered a bit for the character, it might be squished or it might be stretched or it might be pushed upwards or down but in order to understand sort of how their face moves, their facial structure is uh, when it moves it's good for me to outline all the spots on the jawline mm -hmm. and then yeah then I know exactly what it's going to do <laughs> yeah, no worries. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just have a little look around um, here. I need to get the point where your jaw meets up here to your ears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and does you, do your ears have any movement in them when you move your face around at all? Not really, okay, we don't need to worry about the ears then and because it's not an exact likeness, we don't need to worry about doing the spots on the ears. <laughs> okay, so we have done the mouth and we've done some of the major spots around. But what we do need to do, which is quite important, is the brows because that's real and they're a real expression. So I'm going to just work on your brows now. going to touch anywhere near the centre of your eye but I need to get like the corners and sort of like halfway along sort of just like a general measurement of where they are so I'm going to just get this corner here this corner here I like the middle spots and could you close your eyes for me thank you okay I'm just going to put a spot right in the middle and right in the middle of that one okay brilliant and what I'm going to do is I need to do a bit some sort of around your nose now you can open your eyes okay so on your nose right in the middle of that one that one's yeah okay 
just saves them um, once they've um, basically taken your face and all the way it moves and like inputted that into the system they might not actually um, need to correlate it uh, when you're moving around yeah exactly they might just do a, a generic version of you if that makes sense Yeah, of course. Okay, thank you so much and take care and good luck today.